Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. And it works both ways, doesn't it? Because unless you become more than you are, then keep what you've got because it'll be all that you'll ever have. From around the 1920s, I think it was, some really clever and very successful men started talking about the power in personal development and its relationship to the accumulation of wealth and success. And to this day, I can confirm they are right. Because I have found that income and riches seldom exceed a person's personal development. Sometimes people get lucky and their income takes a leap for some reason. But what I have found is that unless you grow your knowledge and your skills to the level where your income is, then your income will come down to where it was pretty soon. The world has some strange rules, doesn't it? If you were given a million rand tomorrow and the most you've ever had in the bank is 10,000 rand, then best you learn how to be a millionaire very quickly, don't you agree? So that you can get to keep the million. Otherwise, I guarantee you, that it will disappear just as quickly as it came. It's my belief that if you took all the money in the world and divided it up equally between everyone, then in a short space of time, it will end up back in the hands of those who had most of it to begin with. And this is because success is always looking for a home to live in. And when you create that home by improving your personal development, improving your skills, improving your attitude, then success will come to stay in the home that you've created. But if you've been too lazy to work on your personal development, your skills and your attitude, then don't moan or cry when others can have the things that you can't. It's all about working on yourself, on your personal development. This is beyond dispute. Those who get more have first become more. They know it's not about what they are getting, but more about what they are becoming. True happiness is not about what you get, no. True happiness is about what you become, isn't it? Thank you for watching. This is Tom Hardiman from Sales Driven International. And if I can assist with any sales related challenges that you may have, please feel free to look at our website, salesdriven.co.za. Thanks again and bye for now.